WD18 outside Vicarage Road has finished Watford Neil Burnley 3. James, lovely to see you as always, but that was an awful game, an awful performance. And I'm worried. Well, I've been worried since the start of the season, mate, but it just seems like we are only going one way. I said to you last week, if we don't win the next three games and we drop points, we go down. Today, I'm sorry, but we had a good first half, I thought. I thought Firmino was all right. I thought Dawson played all right. I thought Maps was probably man of the match today. I thought he, he, he played with a bit of fight. But I'm, I'm sorry, but how can you lose to Burnley at home? Right, when you've just beaten Norwich. And I'll tell you why. Because Norwich was shit on the day. And we, we, we made them look shit. That is why we won last week. Because Norwich was shit. Right? I'm, I'm, what I'm worried about, OK, is Britos has come out, I said this week, that he didn't get on with Javi. And that's why he didn't start. I think there's a bit of that going on still. I think there's a bit still dragging on. Yeah, I know Britain's not in that club, but I'm talking about it, the general attitude of players. Delafayu, I said this before on this channel. Inconsistent. Inconsistent. But all the fans are, you know, slating him and, and when he does something wrong. But when he's man in a match like he was last, last game, we're all cheering him. He needs to do that every game. Don't turn it on against teams like Norwich and fucking Wolves, you know, because that seems to be the only teams he turns it on. James, I think some fans would argue, though, that is Delafeu the only player who really shows any sort of creativity, any sort of attacking intent? Because the other players aren't offering a lot. Um, He's the only one who looks to be trying. Yes and no. Because of the way, the way I look on it, and it looks like this is how we're going to play now, is if you've got Delafeu running at you, yeah, like all game, yeah, you've got no one. You've got no one in and out. Do you know what I mean? You, who, who, who's he going to pass to? If you've got your full back so fucking far back, right? No one's fucking bothered to move, yeah? You want that fucking Akechi Anya fucking speed of him, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, that's what you need. You want a Fernando Forestieri. You want someone like that, right, to be fucking, you know, running in behind, you know? So is the issue tactically, the way we're setting up under Flores? The, the issue is Flores. The issue is the team. The issue is the players. You know, and, I, and this is what I'm saying. Like, what's going to happen is if we keep Flores, January transfer window is going to come. Flores is going to bring all his players in, your fucking Gerardos, your, your Mario Suarez, and it's just going to send the club backwards. We're going backwards. You know, we, we need to keep the core, get rid of the shit, build again. If that means by going down, so be it. But right now, I think they need to be getting rid of Flores, bringing in someone like Sam Allardyce. You know, someone that's got proper knowledge of this fucking league to get us out of it because I'll be seeing you in the championship I was mate I really will and you, do you know what like you can see how pissed off the fans are I mean, it was half empty without that was pretty much the only yeah. one left do you know what I mean but I'll give my all the players are not giving theirs and you know at the end of the season if you look at the, the Premier League as a structure yeah right you've got Everton who their Christmas run up it's probably the worst in the league. They've got the top six, yeah? You've got Norwich, you've got Southampton, you've got us, and is it, well, Burnley, is Burnley and West Ham, yeah? Right? You're competing in a little mini league yourself. Do you know what I mean? If you're not top of that... anyone outside the top seven. If you're not a top of that pile, yeah. and you're bottom of the league at Christmas, you're, you're going down. That's normally what happens. And I just think, if we go down, what's going to happen is we'll lose all our players, right? Because you're going to have to. You're going to have to bring in new people to get out of the championship. And I don't want to think like that. Don't. Don't want us to go down, right? Because this, we've got Premier League structure here. We've got something to build on. But none of these players want it. You know, it was good to have Deeney back, but it seems to be, you know, we're either going to play, you know, hoofball up to Deeney, or you're going to play the wingers running at each other. We should have got one of their men sent off today by just running at them. One more foul, they would have been sent off. You know, I just I just want to see a bit more. You know, we be there next week? Of course we'll be. Good. Will anybody needs to be there next week? Probably not. Do you know? There will be... Who, the players? No, just fans in general, you know? After what they've seen today, they're going to turn up. Watch, it, tell it, watch it on the telly, keep warm.
in your fucking 20s. Can you blame them? Do you know what I mean? Like, fuck off. We want, we want passion. And I want to see that from everyone. It's hard, though, though, just to finish, though, James. It's hard for the... F I know you're going to say that. It's, it's, of course, everyone wants to be passionate, but it's hard when performances aren't great, results aren't great. Can, the, get pissed the before the game. There's your answer. <laughs> Top man. See you later. James, later.